Hey everyone, it's Robert. Big day here in my household. The PlayStation 5 finally arrived. I was able to order it from GameStop on launch day. And today is the 17th. I think it was the 12th I ordered it. So it only took like five days. Not too bad. Uh, FedEx actually did a pretty good job of getting it shipped to me in a timely manner. Shout out to them because normally they're not very good where I live. So <laughs> thanks FedEx for not fucking this one up. Let's go check out the PS5. So like I mentioned before, I did order this off of GameStop on release day, November 12th. And in order to do that, you had to buy a bundle. So I didn't just get the PlayStation 5, which is why the box is a little bit bigger than if there was simply just a PlayStation 5 in there. I got the... PlayStation 5 with the disk drive. An additional DualSense wireless controller. And it also came with NBA 2K21 Mamba Edition and the PS5 Ultimate Edition of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Unfortunately, while I can't wait to play this game, uh, I already have the base one, so I didn't need the Ultimate Edition, so I could have got the $50 version versus the 70 and I really have no interest in this game, so it's kind of like paid 100 bucks for a game I don't want. I'm going to try and take them back. Hopefully they'll let me. If not, they'll make good Christmas gifts for somebody. All right. Overall, the box is in pretty good shape. Uh, go ahead and this cut. Kind of interesting way it opens up top here. And we can hopefully pull this right out. Yeah. What's up? This box is really kind of a flimsy covering. You can kind of like, see, I just tore that down there. It's not the end of the world, but if you really like to keep your boxes in pristine condition, I can see how that might perturb you. It has instructions on how to open it up there. I believe we're going to have. Accessory box here first. Open that up. Includes the quick start guide, which if you see compared to my Xbox quick start guide, this is not really a quick start guide. This is a really large construction manual. Um, HDMI cord. So maybe that's gonna be 2.1. Doesn't have anything labeled on here. No branding. Seems like a missed opportunity. Uh, I suspect this is going to be the base to align it vertically. Got the power cord, and we have one. DualSense controller. This feels much better than what I thought it was going to in my hands. Still not sold on where the placement for the thumbsticks are. I feel like my hands kind of clawing over to get to them. Um, I like the way it looks like these buttons are probably going to illuminate Not yet. So you got a little, hit that PlayStation button, got a little glow on the controller there. But, okay, let's dig that. More on the controller in another video. We'll do an unboxing of that extra controller. And then we have a USB-C cable. So this is nice. This did come with the USB-C cable, whereas opposed the Xbox Series 
Uh, controllers are USB-C, but did not come with the cable. Uh, however, those controllers aren't rechargeable batteries, they're just regular double A's, so it's less necessary to have those. Um, these twists seem to have paper on them, which is, I guess, kind of interesting, maybe from an environmental standpoint, that it's not plastic and it's paper. I know this isn't really the exciting part, untwisting these cables, but we'll get to the console itself here in a second. This one's actually so twisted up, it just had to break to get up. We'll set that off to the side here, and we'll go ahead and we will do that, my friends. It's heftier than I thought. Go ahead and get this out of the box. There. Oh, that was a great thump. I'm sure it's fine. console. As you can see, it is the disk drive. We have a lock back here. I noticed that was on the uh, Xbox series as well. There's a locking mechanism back there. Uh, LAN port, two USB 3, HDMI, power on the back, up front USB-C. There is another USB, uh, might be two, it's not blue, which normally indicates three, but it does have a lightning bolt. So it might be high speed three, I don't know. And then there's a power and an eject button right there. Now, this has, well, the little thing for the screw just went MIA. It's down here in the carpet. I found it. It's right there. Watch out so you don't lose that. And here's the pin. I'll tell you. This is something. And I don't necessarily mean that in the best of ways. So you have to get this screw out of the bottom here, which is in the hind quarters. And through the magic of movie making, I will finish adjusting this off camera so you don't have to watch me go find a screwdriver and that base station I thought was going to be smaller than the Xbox all said and done but at this point I'm not sure if it's going to be we're going to put this back behind the television Not doing it one-handed this time. Oh, one-handed. And yeah, that fits nice and snug. I'm gonna go ahead and get it back there behind the TV. Fits well, not too obtrusive. And I have the Xbox Series X right over here. And my wife's little, nice little sign. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the latest unboxing video with the PlayStation 5. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one and not necessarily because of the power increase that it represents over the last one, but really to check out the haptic feedback that they have on the new controllers and eventually the exclusives that PlayStation has in its family. So 
Make sure to keep checking out the channel. I will have additional unboxing videos over the course of the next few weeks as I continue to pick up accessories for the two new consoles. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to go back and check out some of the previous ones covering the Xbox Series X and the uh, charging situation they have, whereas not all charging stations will work with your new controllers for your Xbox Series X and S. And as always, remember Liam, I make these for you. <laughs> all right, take care, everyone. Bye.